have implied as much it could be done in 48 yeah. hours. Yes, yeah. it's off the shelf. I'm very clear what I would do. I would go to this emergency council and I would say, take the withdrawal agreement, replace the backstop with the track that's in the joint interpretive instrument on alternative arrangements, limit the length so of the, the IT, that, and take out, take out the single customs territory of the political declaration. Those are three things which are reasonable asks and the work's been done. All right. And then say, I'm afraid, and I would prefer to reach an agreement, otherwise you have to say, we're going to have to go without withdrawal agreement, whilst, whilst also offering treaties capable of producing the relationship which they offered us a year ago. Right. I mean, what happens, though, um, Steve, as far as you're concerned, if Theresa May does say, I, I am going to look at this idea of a customs union and bolting it on to the withdrawal agreement, what would it do to you and the party? I think it would really shatter the party. I've said that before. Um, I'm not sure what would happen. In what way? Well, it's very difficult to say. At this point, it would be a clear breach of our manifesto promises. But it manifesto would leave promises us, have been dropped before, haven't it they? It would leave us heading into a position where instead of taking back control, we've surrendered more control. Uh, I think that across the country there would be furious anger, and in particular in the Conservative Party. It's, I think it's worth saying that in the Conservative Party, the membership are on my side of the argument, our side mm -hmm. of the That's argument. True. Thank you. I mean, the, the point is the membership want to leave the European Union. And I think that there is a clear and consistent way of doing it, which is in line with what the EU But it's not us. just about the Conservative Party, is it, no, Steve Baker? I mean, this country. is about Parliament, and you've always said Parliament is sovereign, um, and it's a minority government. So I say to you again, what will you do, apart from being shattered, what, 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 what will you but do? The government needs to comply with the law, and the law is that we leave the European Union on exit day. Of course, that's been moved with the SI. And parliamentarians legislated to leave, and I'm afraid... And one of those, the, the, the customs what, union, the law will be, but the law, not Theresa yeah. May's choice, but the law will be that she will be instructed to negotiate a customs union. If such a law is passed, but yeah. I believe that such a law can be prevented from being passed by the 12th of April. But whether or not it is prevented from being passed is a matter for the Prime Minister. So I think, I think what is happening at the moment, you said it's not about the Conservative Party. Well, that's absolutely right. I, as I've written in the Telegraph, I think what is at stake now is democracy itself for everyone. When people vote, does that vote count for anything? Because if we don't leave the European Union, having asked the public to decide, then the, the very legitimacy of democracy is on the table. All right.